Now, here's your Farm and Ranch report from the Western Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch news. Well, hey, it looks like the Biden administration is looking to farmers to help alleviate global food shortfalls by planting winter wheat this fall on ground that's coming out of the Conservation Reserve Program. But unfortunately, much of the acreage currently lies in states that are suffering from prolonged drought, like here in Montana. About 1.7 million acres of CRP land are under contracts that are set to expire on September 30th and aren't being renewed by the landowner. Now, Texas has the largest share of those expiring CRP acres, followed by Colorado, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Keep in mind that these four states accounted for nearly half of the U.S. production of winter wheat that was harvested last year. Meanwhile, Montana could help make up some of that winter wheat production because the Treasure State has over 126,000 acres of CRP land leaving the program this fall. But as you've heard me say before, only time will tell. In some other news today, BLM Director Tracy Stone Manning has announced that Montana native Errol Rice will join the federal agency as a senior policy advisor in support of the bipartisan infrastructure law. Now Rice will help guide the BLM's outreach and policy on grazing and investments in restoration. Of course, he has significant experience in agriculture, ranching and renewable energy, and works with clients in the agribusiness, agriculture technology, and renewable sector to help navigate the supply chain, government climate, profit risk, and strategy. The former Montana Stock Growers Association Executive Vice President will focus on grazing, sage grouse habitat management, as well as natural infrastructure. Stay with us. We'll have more ag news right after this.